Good morning. It's Wednesday, day three of monk mode. And um, yeah, it's pretty late again. <laughs> it's 11.30. I went to sleep last night, like 3.30, I think. So yesterday's video was very long, almost 60 minutes. So it took me, uh, I think almost two hours to, you know, download the clips from my phone to my laptop, then put the clips together as a video, export it and upload to YouTube. So yeah, it took me a bit too long. I don't wanna uh, spend more than an hour for one video during uh, during the day. So uh, so yeah, for that reason, went to bed later, uh, and yeah, now slept like uh, I think like seven hours. I haven't checked my sleep data yet, and uh, and so starting my day later. But uh, doesn't matter. I'm gonna still go full on, and um, the day will be interesting. And tomorrow will be very hard because tonight I have a boxing class, not class, but tra uh, training. And tomorrow morning I will have another one, uh, nine o'clock in the morning. So <laughs> usually I'm at sleep at that time. So tomorrow I will definitely be uh, sleep deprived. I just can't get uh, get to sleep. Uh, I, I won't fall asleep before like uh, 2 a.m. I'm pretty sure. So uh, yeah, without further ado, let's go. So here we go, just sat down uh, behind the computer and about to start work. It's uh, one o'clock already. So I checked my sleep data. I slept only six and a half hours and the heart rate, resting heart rate and the HRV uh, were not good again. So yeah, um, something's um, like not getting enough sleep, uh, maybe eating too late, something's uh, not uh, perfect, but it's okay, I feel good. So didn't meditate again. Um, um, got out of bed in 20 minutes, I think so. Brushed my teeth, cleaned my face, uh, weighed myself, uh, hydrated. Um, energy and motivation levels are still very good. So I'm energized and motivated. And without further ado, let's go, let's do the work. All right, just finished the first work block. Did uh, only one hour, 20 minutes or so. But uh, I gotta run to boxing, so I'm gonna pack my stuff and uh, go. Push-ups never killed anyone, I guess. <laughs> I'm gonna do push-ups in the boxing training. My trainer will ask me to do many, but as I said, probably too many won't kill me. So in this uh, placement with the uh, board, it uh, does for your shoulders, so you can tweak it for shoulders, biceps, uh, chest and triceps, I guess. So yeah, first time doing the shoulder one. I already feel my shoulders. <laughs> so I'm packed. I packed my boxing gear and also my work stuff and some other stuff because I'm going to a city called Sawa because I train there and my parents live there so I can, I will stay there for a night. And now I'm walking to uh, get the car and uh, grab something to eat while I'm on the way and maybe uh, explain what monk mode means while I'm driving. So I'm driving to the boxing uh, training and just ate a bit, uh, a protein bar, a protein drink and also um, chicken pie. So not much because you don't want to eat too much before the training, but uh, you don't want to go with the full stomach, uh, empty stomach also, because it's already, it's gonna be four o'clock already. So what is monk mode and why I'm doing it? Uh, let's start with the why. So I'm building an app and I want to launch it. 
as soon as possible but definitely by the end of the year so to accomplish this goal i want to work at least four hours a day um, ideally also on the weekends but uh, one day off is, is fine i think so basically i just want to work as much as possible why four hours is that i come to the conclusion that like my work is designing and coding which is creative work and uh, if you build an app alone you need to do everything alone so nobody tells you what to do it's so it's very hard work i would say and i just uh, can't be super productive more than six hours a day like usually the sweet spot is about four hours sometimes it's up to six hours and some rare days i can be very productive for eight hours but 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 the second four hours, the first four hours are always very productive and the second four hours not so productive always. So, so basically, yeah, I just want to have a routine that every day I work at least four hours. And I also want to lose fat. I want to get into a really good shape, like the best shape I've ever been in my life. Because I, like, I just want to and I also want to run more marathons, want to climb more mountains and so on. So to accomplish this goal, uh, I've set the routine that I try to work out every day. And so if you only have these two goals, like work four hours a day and work out every day, it's quite easy to remember if you did it or not, right? But I also want to read then I, every day, right? At least 15 minutes. Then I also want to meditate. I want to answer the question like, will I live today again? I want to ask myself how did I sleep I want to check my sleep and also about exercising like I don't do one exercise I have uh, multiple different ones so I go to the gym I go running and I also box so these are three different types of exercise I do every every week so I would like to know that how many times per week I go to the gym how many times per week I run how many times per week I box and now I already have this big list of things I, I want to do and I, I, I want to know did I do it or not, right? So I have all these things and they make up a routine. Like every day I do these things, right? Or at least try to do. So this routine should have a name and I call it monk mode. Why monk mode is because uh, I remember uh, watching a YouTube video, a guy uh, named Iman Gazi did a video about monk mode and basically he had like um, he listed out the thing oh, shit. <laughs> that was my phone <laughs> so uh, he listed out the things that uh, are non-negotiables that he does every day and uh, his goal was to also like get some work stuff done and so I thought that okay I will call my my routine is similar I want to do work I also want to work out and I'll call it monk mode too. So it has nothing to do with monks uh, besides the fact that I, I think at least this is my interpretation of monk mode. I haven't googled it. I haven't researched it. I just found the video of this guy Iman Gazi and then I oh yeah I'm gonna do monk mode too right and build my routine. But I think the only thing that it that it has to do with monks is that monks are present. They meditate a lot to be present and what monk mode means I think why it's monk, called monk mode is that if you have a routine you don't put stuff into the routine that distract you distract you from your goals so you you build your routine in a way that you're present and you do the things that you want to get done uh, so in other words you guarantee your results so no it has nothing to do with not having sex <laughs> it has uh, nothing to do with uh, I don't know, being in solitude, although I think that uh, being in solitude actually is also why it's called monk mode, because if you really want to be super like uh, focused, it's probably the best to do it in solitude. So, so this is a long rant about monk mode and why I'm doing it. But to put it in one sentence, monk mode is a routine that helps me guarantee the results I want out of life. Or to say it even shorter, a routine 
that supports my goals. I think I will do a separate video about uh, monk mode. I will like show some slides and like so that you can have uh, when I talk, you also see like visually what I'm talking about, and maybe it makes more sense then. But I just wanted to shout it out because, uh, yeah, I think it's confusing for people. Like, what is monk mode and uh, like, how is your routine in monk mode and, and blah, blah, blah. So, so that's it. All right, enough about monk modes. <laughs> I'm, I have arrived in my destination in, in one piece. My phone is still working. I didn't crash and let's go boxing. So this is where I go boxing. So it's a, it's a school sporting hall, which has uh, like a swimming pool and indoor football, football stadium, and also the boxing room. Let's see if it's open. Yeah, it's open. So let me show you. So this is where I box with my personal trainer. So yeah, I'm gonna hit some jump, some roping jump, jumping rope, sorry, <laughs> to get warm up and warmed up, then and, uh, and yeah, then put these things on. Ja, yeah, prägg om pappa du. Hej Simone. Hej Simone. Hej Simone. Ooh, boxing done now the best part sauna so I think I have no dry spot on my shirt and uh, yeah but I love it my trainer pushes me I just uh, told him to push me <laughs> because you know all the trainings I do are alone and I need to push myself but it's nice if someone else pushes you because they don't know your limits, so it's different. All right, I'm gonna enjoy a sauna and then go eat. First proper meal and then back to work. Ah, just saw some guys I haven't seen for a year because I haven't been here uh, for a year, I think. So I asked them like, are they doing twice the uh, weights? <laughs> and the guys were joking that they're just trying to keep their uh, current uh, shape, not to downgrade. So I'm uh, here at Sawa, at my parents' place, and just finished uh, meal one, proper meal one. Uh, yeah, boxing was a lot of fun, and now back to work, a lot of work to do. It's, um, it's almost eight o'clock at night, so it's gonna be a long night, but I'm motivated, so let's go. All right, day three is coming to an end. So this is the last video of the day. Managed to do four and a half hours of productive work, so I can be happy. Um, would I live today again? Yes, hell yes. It was fun and productive. And um, if you like this video, then hit the like button and consider subscribing and until tomorrow peace